<laughs> basically at the moment I've got a bit of a nightmare. I put too much um, steel on the outside. I need more iron on the inside and less on the outside because that was causing me a lot of problems with breaking. So I'm using acetone um, to melt the super glue. And it's taking me a while. This stuff is pretty strong. <laughs> but um, I'm trying to... Um, yeah, I'm not having much luck at the moment. I'm using a screwdriver and I'm trying to wedge these little bars off that I glued on. This should come loose in a bit. God, what a nightmare. I, yeah, I've got to be careful because I don't want to break my bobbins inside because they're also susceptible to acetone. I've got these felt, these felt um, caps which give me a bit of protection there. Well, I'll put these on there, these top magnets crashing into it, but um, it's actually helping in other ways. But uh, I can't do a proper RPM test until I get things back the way they were. Because I put these bars on the outside as a test. Then what I did was I super glued some rings on the end and I super glued a ball bearing on the end to try it. And then I realized I'd super glued all my bars as well. Well, I didn't want to super glue those. They were, they were sort of wedged in with um, with um, heat shrink sleeving. But the heat shrink sleeving, well, that cut off, that's cut off reasonably well, but it's a super glue that's a problem. <laughs> I'm even using a real sharp knife to try to wedge my sub in there, and it's, yeah, it's it's difficult. <laughs> so anyway, I thought I'd update you on what's going on right now. So, a bit of a problem. Anyway, I don't want to get my phone too close to the acetone. It might melt. <laughs> now, here's something you might need to know about my device. Uh, let's just get this light a bit better. Right. When the um, rotor magnets are passing the... Um, Let's see. When the rotor magnets are passing the conductor, the, mag the iron core, because the concentric magnets are on the side, we have um, a strong magnetic field on some of the concentric magnets, as you can see from my gauge. Now, because the magnets, uh, six of them, there's one, two, Three, four, five, six. One way of getting around this is to get some cable ferrite cores, some cable screening cores, because the path of the magnetic, the magnets on the rotors is actually across here. Now look at this. I am not getting a deflection there. I am there. Not there. The magnets are just attracted to ferrite. This is equivalent to magnetic screening because the way these cable conductors operate is that the magnetic field is diverted around the, the it's a bit like a, a ferrite ring. It's deflected and it comes out in a different angle over here somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where, but Anyway, the point is, because it's flat, it gives me screening. Same on this side. I'm not getting any deflection. Oh, anyway, it's, it's actually attracting, look, it's sticking like a normal piece of metal would do. But there's a magnet directly behind there, as you can see. And there's one that's not screened. That was actually north. I think that was a north pole on, on the edge there. That was the south. But that was the north as well, actually. But anyway, um, yeah, that's north, that's south, that's south. Yeah, but we'll get screening anyway. We, we have a quiver of screening here because 
the amount the amount of magnetic attraction here is very weak compared to what it would be like there that's very very strong there that's a, that's an actual north on that edge right on that edge there because I've got the configure set but it's south on this on the back <laughs> oh, so what we gain as you can see that's north on the back and that would be south on the back but it's been screened so you can actually uh, have your rotors passing with little resistance because of the these worth you, worth you knowing about that I mean some people might use just an ordinary piece of steel but then it doesn't give you a very good screening but <coughs> these cable these cable um, is cable conductors um, suppressors inductance suppressors um, are ideal actually I just stick them on my ferrite ring I mean a ferrite ring was supposed to give me some kind of a bit of screen it does actually help because I've done some tests with my gauge on the other side and it does actually give me a bit of deflection on on there when as worse as when there isn't any but um, so anyway enough waffle